Welcome back everyone to another Space Engineers tutorial and today we will be discussing grids. So what is a grid? Simply put a grid is whatever you build. If we set a block down we are creating a grid. If we put a thousand blocks together we just have one big grid and that is a grid. End of tutorial. Just kidding, just kidding. So grids can, um, they can be static or mobile. We are currently on a static grid, which means it has no thrusters, no wheels. It's not capable of moving. Then you have a mobile grid and a mobile grid will have either thrusters, wheels, or both. And they are capable of being large or small grid. Now, what makes something a large grid is the type of block. So this is a large grid block. If I press the four key again, that little bitty tiny fellow right there, that's a small grid block. So that's how you create a small grid or a large grid or a static grid and a mobile grid, depending on what you're trying to do. And then we have uh, some other types of grids, right? So we have multi grids, we have subgrids we have merged grids and then we have a main grid a main grid is anywhere that you're controlling a multi-grid from which doesn't help much because we don't know what a multi-grid is but a multi-grid is essentially um, a grid with one or more subgrids attached to it so in our case we have a subgrid down here We have a couple of grids or subgrids over here. So there's one, two, three subgrids right there. And then one subgrid over here. By having all of these subgrids connected together, we have a multi grid. And I can control that multi grid from a control seat such as this. A control panel such as this or we can control it from a cockpit such as this uh, yep oops not what I wanted to do wrong button so if I climb into this cockpit right here and I press K you can see I have access to all of the grids and you can determine if you have a multi-grid or a subgrid set up by looking at the colors. Different colors represent different grids or subgrids. Uh, if the lettering is in white or the words are in white, then you are currently on the main grid. So we'll take the industrial cockpit right here. You'll see that it's white. If I hop out of it, and I come over here to this control seat and we look at the industrial cockpit you'll see it's white steel and that is because we're on the same grid trying to control it including from this panel look at the industrial cockpit it's still white but if I run over here and I hop in this control seat and open it up now if we look at the industrial cockpit it's orange okay and the reason that is is because from the point of view of this control seat which is on a separate grid that industrial cockpit is the subgrid to this grid and the grid that i'm currently on is now the main grid because all of the words are white Fuel and it's the same thing if i use this control panel all the white words mean that it's a main grid. All the color words means that it is a subgrid of the main grid, but all the various colors means that you have a multi grid. All right, and then so that subgrid, main grid, or well, I'm sorry, multi grid and main grid. Now we're going to talk about the subgrid. 
So a subgrid is simply uh, two grids connected together by use of a mechanical block. In Space Engineers, mechanical blocks include rotors, hinges, and pistons. And then there's uh, a special block that also allows you to connect two grids together. And that's the connector right here. But we will talk about that in a little bit. So, if we come over here to this control panel, we're going to pretend that this is just one multi-grid system and that we're not connected to this big, big giant block laying on the ground. So we'll start with our main grid components. That's this control panel and this hinge. And then here's our rotors, our piston, and our drill. Now, because we have all these various different colors, now I know I'm a part of a multi-grid. And from this control panel, I can control any one of these devices. So I can turn the drill on. I can move the piston in and out. And I can move rotors. I can also control the hinge. So let's take a look at this setup. We said it was mechanical block. So we'll come out over here and we'll look. We'll see that our hinge was in white and it was in white because it's directly connected to the grid. So this hinge and the grid are one grid. Everything after this hinge starts the multi-grids. So the first multi-grid we have, or I'm sorry, not multi-grid, sub-grid. So the first sub-grid we have is this rotor. And then we have this rotor right here, our piston, and our drill. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five grids connected together. And that jives with what we're looking at. So white is one, there's two, three, four, and five. So if you remember a few minutes ago, I told you that connectors were a little bit different uh, from the mechanical parts, but yet they still allowed you to connect two grids together. So with our connectors not locked together, right now we have this grid here, and that grid there. And they're two separate grids. If I look at the control panel here, I can see that I have these parts right here. And we'll use the cockpit, the industrial cockpit as an example. And if I come over here and I look, you'll see that there's no industrial cockpit listed. So these are in fact two separate grids. Despite the fact that these two blocks are touching. But if I come over here and open this up and let's see, uh, where's the connector? If I lock our two connectors together, they turn green and we can see that now all of the grid components can be seen. All right? So everything that has an SG attached to the end of it is that other grid this grid over here but if you noticed there's also a subgrid there and that's these two yellow blocks right so the drill and this merge block are a separate grid and that is because of that hinge if we disconnect these two again right, so we'll go back to our connectors unlock them you'll see that everything on the other grid disappeared and again it is its own grid so connectors will also allow you to create or rather connect two grids together forming a multi-grid so I would personally revise the definition of what a subgrid is to say 
that a grid that is connected to another grid by means of mechanical or connector blocks gives you a subgrid. That's a terrible sounding definition. But essentially, if you have a rotor, a hinge, a piston, or a connector, then you will have subgrids. Um, the disclaimer is that for a connector, you actually have to lock the two connectors together to bring two subgrids together. All right. And then that brings us to our final type of grid, and that is a merge grid. So for a merge grid, I'm going to leave the two connectors disconnected. Where's our hinge? I'm going to take our hinge and rotate it down. And once the merge blocks are lined up, I will demonstrate what a merge grid is. All right, so our two merge blocks are now lined up. And what I want to do is open this up get to our connector well first let's look at what we got for grid blocks you'll see that there's only one merge block and there's one drill and that merge block is that merge block and the drill is that drill it doesn't include this merge block or this drill when I'm looking at the grid blocks in the control panel here even though those two merge blocks are technically touching, they're not connected. And you can tell they're not connected because one is white and one is red. The one that is red is powered off. And if I come over here and I open up this control panel, you can see that our drill and our merge block are, have SG2 at the end. So what I want to do is I want to leave these two blocks unlocked and I want to take and I want to power on our merge block and bam the moment it happened everything else showed up in the grid block list so that means everything from this connector to that drill and everything in between now became part of or became visible on that subgrid but what about from over here if I open this and I type in SG2 oops SG2 you'll see that my drill and my merge block are now white and that's because merge blocks are special when you have two merge blocks connected together it treats both grids as the same grid not as two individual or separate grids. So, until next time, I want to thank everybody for watching this tutorial series. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And I will see everyone in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.